Hello students. Today we're going to try to set up a, a mini trivia question kind of slideshow game quiz. Okay, so what we're going to do is to start off we want to have one fact that we can research. So if we go to Google and you can pick any topic that you like, think about school topics whether it's language, literature, history, geography, science, the planets, whatever you like. So my topic is going to be uh, most populated countries okay and all I want to do is I want to see a list here okay so I've got a fact the most populated country is China the second most populated country is India the third most populated country is USA the fourth most populated country is Indonesia so I've done my research all right so we're gonna go to Google Slides and then we're gonna create a new slide presentation and in the top left hand corner, let's call it trivia question question test. Okay, trivia question test. Okay. All right, so we're actually not gonna have a title, but we can just leave this slide. So I'm gonna add a slide here. And then I'm going to type in my question. So I can have an obvious question, what is the most populated country in the world? Or if I want to have it a little bit more challenging, I can actually ask, what is the second most populated country in the world? Okay, so again, you choose the trivia question that you want to ask. All right, so I don't need this text box right now, so I'm going to click on it and delete. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back to this slide. I'm going to add a slide here, and in the title, I'm going to say, yes, you are correct. Okay, and then I'm going to add a slide, and in this title, I'm going to say, I'm sorry, you are not correct. Okay? All right. So I've got three slides, four slides, including the title page. All right. So let's create our options. What we're going to do is we're going to create like um, a multiple choice format here. So let's click on an object. So let's insert an object or a shape. So let's go to shape and then you can choose whatever shape that you like. I'm just going to choose, how about I choose kind of like a button shape here. All right. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have room for four identical buttons. Now, again, if this is too fancy for you, you can just insert um, a normal rectangle, just a regular rectangle. In fact, let me do that so that you can go get more creative. I'll make it very simple and plain so that you can have the option, the freedom to create a more elaborate, fancy choice. Okay, so inside I want to create a text box. So I'll create a text box inside here. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I'm going to type in my first possible answer. So my first possible answer would be China. Now we know because of the research here that China is actually the most populated country. Okay, but I'm going to stick that in as number one. All right, now I can increase the font, I can change the font, you can do whatever you wish. So I'm going to click outside of that button and I'm going to create. Um, I'm going to drag a box around both of those objects and I'm going to edit, copy, edit, paste. And then what I want to do is I want to position it over here. Now you'll see that Google Slides creates that nice, uh, shows you that nice um, centering line, the red centering line, so that you can make sure that your objects are aligned. So I'm going to place it here. All right, I'm going to click outside of that button, and then it should allow me to click on this into this uh, text box and type in my second choice. So let's say I say Indonesia. Okay. 
And again, you can keep the fonts consistent. You can increase the font. Again, I'm trying to make the most basic, but I want you to be creative later. All right, so let's edit, paste. Let's get another button here, and I'm going to place it down here. And again, I've got the guiding vertical line, so I can line up those two buttons. And if I click outside of it and then click back inside of it, I should be able to activate the text box. And then I'll put in my third answer, USA. I'm going to click outside of that button. And I'm going to go to Edit, Paste, and let me center. This should be able to let me center all of my um, buttons so that they're perfectly aligned. I'm going to deselect and then click back in here. And then I'm going to type my actual answer. The correct answer was, again, India. OK. All right. Now, one of these answers is correct, India. And three of these answers is incorrect, which is why we made these two cards. Yes, you are correct. Or, I'm sorry, you are not correct. So what we have to do is we have to link these buttons to the corresponding uh, slide. So let's look at the first answer here, China. Okay, uh, China, let's undo. All right, so what I want to do is I want to click on this. Let's not click in the text box. Let's click on the outer shape. And let's go insert uh, link. Insert link. Now remember, China is not the correct answer. So what I want to do is I want to click on slides in this presentation. And I want to click on the last slide, which says, no, I'm sorry, you are not correct. OK, so that would be slide four. All right, and then click Apply. Let's do the same thing with my second answer. Insert link slides in this presentation and I'm going to go down to slide four. I'm sorry, you are not correct. Click apply. I'm going to do the same thing for my third answer. Insert link and I'm going to go down and choose the last choice, which is sorry, you are not correct. And then finally, my correct answer, India, I'm going to insert link and then I'm going to choose yes you are correct the third slide and then click apply okay all right so we haven't done anything I haven't done anything to dress up I just want to make sure the mechanics work the slides work all right so I'm going to start on slide two and let's test it let's go to present and here's my question. What is the second most populated country in the world? And if I put my mouse over the first answer, China, I should get a hand here, which indicates that there is a link. So if I click on it, it should go to the slide that says, I'm sorry, you are not correct. All right, if I go back to this uh, page and I try the second answer, Indonesia, let's try it. And it should go to the correct slide that says, I'm sorry, you are not correct. I can just click back a couple times. Let's try the answer USA. Uh-oh, looks like the USA here does not have a link. Let me try it. Ah, so something went wrong here. So let's check that. So let's click on USA, insert link, slides in this presentation. Then I have to go all the way down to the last slide. Sorry, you are not correct. And maybe I didn't click apply the first time. Maybe that's what I did. All right, and let's click on this. And this one looks like it's OK, because I clicked on it, it says slide three. Yes, you are correct. All right, so let's go back and test it again. Present. Let's click on USA. USA is not a correct answer, so that is correct. And then let's check the last correct answer, India. So let's click on India. Yes, you are correct. All right, so I've tested, I've tested my slides to make sure that the mechanics work. All right, so this is the first step in creating a digital game show. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.